Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel and Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. Honestly, I think that this Christmas may have been one of the best Christmases I've ever had. And I know that's so weird, especially since this year. I wouldn't say it's one of the worst years I've ever had. Definitely was a very hard year. I am so, so blessed that I got to be with my family for Christmas. And also Tom got to be with us this Christmas. That was Tom and I's first real Christmas together. His first Christmas, of course, with my family, which he has already met. And it's cool because I think he's really starting to get along with my family. Like, weirdly enough, him and my dad are, they're very similar. Also, I have brunette hair. Like, I mean, I've always been a brunette. This was kind of accidental. I really didn't mean to go this dark for some reason. Every time I get my hair done, nobody can just ever get it to what I want. I don't know. It's still growing on me. That's what's new with me. What's new with you? How was your Christmas? That's awesome. So yes, welcome back to another what I got for Christmas in the iconic Chevron wall room. I love filming in this room. I just always get so many good vibes and I love remembering how excited I was to start my YouTube channel. I realized this is my fourth what I got for Christmas. Fourth, oh my God, I'm old. This is, that's a lot of what I got for Christmases. I feel like every single Christmas like video, I always, something bad happens to my hair. That's funny, that's like a consistent running joke, I guess. So, sorry, happy four years of Emily, oh, I should sit up. Happy four years of Emily Enchanted. Also, I feel like I've just grown up so much. Like, I hope that's a good thing. So much to reflect on. And honestly, just a huge thank you to you guys who have followed me. Like, your support means so much. I really never thought I'd have a following or that people would actually want to watch what I had to say. So it always baffles me when I really think about it. 60,000 of you guys. I just love each and every one of you. And I really do hope to have some very exciting things in store for next year. So I want to share with you guys what I got for Christmas. Um, let's just, let's begin. So first, I want to start with stocking stuff. First, but at first, I got a Starbucks gift card. You don't know how desperately I need this. I have some Aquaphor, and you guys probably don't know this, but I actually do have eczema. It, it <laughs> maybe not the best topic to start the video out with, but I mean, I don't know. Some reusable straws. Santa knows that I only drink out of straws. I can't drink out of anything else, so the more reusable straws, the better. Also, I got, it was a pack of these like little hair, like headband things that like you put on your head, so, like when you're doing makeup and stuff. And I really, really wanted them because they had a cow print. How, I don't wanna put it on because it'll mess up my hair, but how cute is this? And it comes with six of them, they're on Amazon. I'm gonna try to link everything down below, like everything that is like linkable. They're just from Amazon and I, I'm so excited. I got some Senorita Margarita bubble bath. This is from the brand Philosophy. My mom and I love this brand and Santa knows how much I love a good margarita. And this actually smells like a margarita. Every time I sniff it, I'm like, mm, should I, do I drink this? A beauty blender, because I really need one. I also got some Reese's. Now this isn't from Santa, this is from the Tom Santa, because Tom was so, so sweet. First of all, Tom got me some incredible gifts that I'll show you in a second, but he also wanted to get me some stocking stuffers, which is so sweet. I got Santa stocking stuffers, and then I got Tom Santa stocking stuffers. Tom Santa got me Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer, and it's You're the One. This one's good. I don't know what flavor that is. Then he made me this magnet. It is just these Mickey and Minnie hands making a heart and it says T and E. That's like what we call ourselves. Like we don't really have a ship name. We're just T and E. We actually talked about this on my last day as a cast member in Magic Kingdom video, but we, Tom and I always do this. Like if we're on FaceTime or real life, we'll just kind of go like this and then, you know, He'll go like this. So now I'm gonna show you guys what Tom got me for Christmas. Now I'm just gonna say it like, Tom absolutely spoiled me this year. And I feel like I don't really deserve it, but I'm so, so thankful for everything that he got me. This heart necklace and this matching ring. I have been wanting a ring from Tom, like not necessarily an engagement ring or a promise ring, just to, just to like, like that one like staple ring that I'll wear with anything, just to always kind of have a piece of him with me, like 
if I need to like think about him, if I'm anxious or anything, I can always like wear a piece of him with me. Oh, so gross, so cheesy. Anyways, and Tom got me this card. He went to the store Love Pop, which is a brand new store at Disney Springs, and look. It's so cute. It's Mickey and Minnie kissing under the mistletoe. Tom also got me this pair of shoes. These are from Zara. I'm really trying to elevate my high heel collection because all of my high heels were essentially shoes from like high school, from prom, where you'd like go to Dillard's and get just those kind of high heels. And then he also got me. And so he filled it with some of his favorite memories of us. This is on my birthday this year. This is Halloween when he was Headless Horseman. And this is at the Riviera just a few days ago. He also got me a microphone because he knows like every time you were filming something like the wind might be too loud or the people like audio can be kind of hard, especially when you're vlogging in the park. So he wanted to get me a microphone to help with the audio. And then he also got me this cooking board. Cooking board. He also got me this cutting board. I need more cutting boards. As if you guys watch my New Year's Eve video, which if you haven't, please go watch it. I think it's one of my best videos I've ever made, at least this year. You could tell that I had no cutting boards, not any like aesthetic ones, so. And then last but not least, this gift shocked me. He got me a Zara jacket. And if you guys know me, you know how much I am obsessed with these things. And so every time we would go into Zara, I'd be like, oh, Tom, and I'd find like a new color of a jacket that I really wanted. And so I am just so thankful that he got me one. Somehow, like my theme of this Christmas is very like tan and neutral. So this jacket matches like everything that I got, like my new Zara heels and some other stuff you'll see. So I'm just, I'm just so excited. Let's move on to shoes. Cause I kind of got a lot of shoes accidentally. It just kind of happened. First, I got these Ugg boots. I think it's funny because I used to think these were the ugliest pair of Uggs back in like middle school, high school. Here I am, 22 years old, asking for Ugg boots. I also got these Ugg slippers because I don't own any slippers. I have like a gross Walmart pair from years ago, but I don't own any slippers and I'm kind of tired of my Crocs. That's more of a summer shoe, not like a winter shoe. And then I also got these Adidas shoes. Now, I'm not sure if these are good running or workout shoes or if they're only just like casual everyday shoes. Regardless, these are part of that neutral tone I was telling you guys about. These are so cute. I also got these high heels. These are from H&M. They are so cute. I just love, love this like one inch heel because it makes me taller without like feeling like I'm gonna tip over or drawing too much attention to me. Ow! Oh wow, I just dropped that heel on my foot. And then the last pair of shoes I got are these cowhide shoes. They are Adidas brand, and my mom got them for me because she knows how much I love cowhide, and I think they're so fun. But I have to try them on. My mom and I, we're just like not sure. It's like they could be the cutest, like most Emily shoes ever, or they could just be like too much cow print. So I kind of need to put on like a whole fit and see if they look good. I should probably do that tonight. Now let me show you guys what I got like for makeup and beauty. I got the L'Oreal Telescopic plus the Voluminous one, I don't know. Um, but these are, I think my favorite mascaras. Literally look at my eyelashes. And like, I don't have good eyelashes, I really don't. I also got the Chanel bronzer. I have watched my favorite YouTubers use this for years and I've always wanted it. That's what it looks like. I've already used it a little bit. Now it is beautiful and I love watching the YouTubers use it because they always look so pretty and bronzy, but I don't think I'm using it right. I just got a brush for it today. So I'm gonna try that out and see if that looks better because every time I use it, like you can't really tell that it's on. Then let me show you guys this palette. It is the Fade Into Hue palette by ColourPop and just look. Look at these colors. This palette is beautiful. I just have too many neutral eyeshadows and this year I wanna try playing with more makeup and more looks and just step a little bit out of my comfort zone. I also got a new perfume and this is the Marc Jacobs Perfect. Look how cute this bottle is. And that's mainly why I love it. I just sprayed my hair. It almost smells like water, 
like an elevated water. I just like it because it's so light and airy. It's not heavy. It's not too sweet. And then I also got a hair straightener. It's the brand Croc. I had actually never heard of this brand before. Look at my hair. I literally used this once. I got this Nike hoodie and I got this for two reasons. One, I don't own any hoodies that aren't Disney. Two, my sister and I got matching ones. So. The only other thing I got was this sweater from Zara. I actually picked these two out on Black Friday, so look at this. It is so cute. I wore this to our Christmas dinner and it was so comfortable. So for my brother, he gave everyone in my family a Christian related book. And so the one he gave me is Wisdom from the Word. Oh, he signed it. To Emily from Evan and he dated it. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's the little things. Anyways, I just really like this kind of stuff because it's hard to just open a Bible and just to read it, especially if you're really looking for wisdom. So I'm really thankful for this because if I ever have like a certain issue, then I can just turn to this book and it'll give me a verse kind of made for that issue. Oh, look at the card my dad got me. Sorry, Santa Claus. So Santa Claus always gives us a card. This is mine. <laughs> it says, man, I'm totally baked. Me too. Let me show you the last of my gifts. These just don't really have a category. These are my favorite gifts, if you will. So I got a hydro flask, and this is my favorite color in the world. I want everything to be this color. I think this is called the hibiscus, hibiscus color. These actually came today. These sunglasses. Now, I need you guys' opinion. They're from ASOS. This is the brand Quay. I don't know how I feel about these, okay? Because my friend had them, and I tried them on, and I loved them. But now that I have them, I don't know how I feel. Obviously, this isn't the fit to try them on. I just, I don't think the square shape, I don't think it really does it for me. I put these on my head. How do we look? But do they look like ski goggles or do they look cool? Let me know what you think. I'm not sold yet. I don't know. And then I also got a black pair. They were having a sale. I think that's why I got two. So the black are like the same as my, the ones that I wear all the time are like my tortoise shell ones. So these are essentially the same shape. Like, I just cannot tell, like, is that cute or do I look like a nerd? Let me know what you think. Let's get into the big gifts. So, oh my gosh, look, look. No, focus, do it again, do it again. Look, oh my gosh. So I got an Apple Watch. Now, I've been wanting an Apple Watch ever since I came home in quarantine, so back in May. Mainly because I was on such a good like health kick, and these are awesome because they can track how many calories you burn, they track, you know, your steps today. This is gonna be so, so helpful for when the new year starts and I really get back into my little fitness grind, and I'm very serious about being fit again. And then, last but not least, I got a Prada bag. This is what she looks like, Prada. She's tan, she's beautiful. And this is kind of what I was saying about like my tan neutral color scheme, but I got a Prada bag and I just really wanted a nice neutral purse that I can carry around anywhere and everywhere that's not Disney, that's just a nice purse. And I like that it's, I think, nylon. I'm not really sure of the material. Um, so it cleans really, really easily. She's so cute, I love how little she is, just, you know, wear it on my shoulder. I love this purse. And that's it. That's what I got for Christmas 2020. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna make this quick. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I am just so, so thankful for everything I got. I've just been feeling very, very blessed recently, and I'm about to fly back to Orlando tomorrow, and it's gonna be the start of a crazy, crazy new year. There's so much that I want to do with my channel, so please make sure you're subscribed. If you haven't already, please like this video, because I really want to elevate Emily Enchanted to the the next level. I'm not a cast member and that's going to be the best thing that ever happens to my channel. I promise you. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas or a Happy Holiday season. Have a wonderful New Year's if I don't see you. If you want to get into the New Year's spirit, you can watch my New Year's Eve video you'll see at the end of this video. Um, I worked so hard on that video. I think it's so fun. So if you want to get in that New Year's 2021 spirit, um, please check it out and I'll see you guys in the New Year. I love you. Bye. Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year